Hey there, everybody. How you doing? It's Lee Stranahan. I am going to really ask you to retweet this. I am here in New York City at my hotel. I did an interview last night with the TV show The Opposition on Comedy Central. I'll talk about that in a second. While people are coming in, I'm going to urge you again, please, please retweet this. Uh, uh, by the way, I got an appearance coming up with David Knight on InfoWars in about 20 minutes, so I need to keep this quick. I need to keep this to about 10 minutes concisely. Blah, 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 Citizen Journalism School. Okay, so let me, let me talk about the Twin Falls case. I want to set this up. I'm going to do a fuller periscope later, certainly by this weekend, where I go over with screen captures, and I want to take you through it. But let me just try to do this, just me and the camera right now. Last year, I went up to Twin Falls, Idaho. And I covered a case uh, where a girl had been sexually assaulted, raped by three boys who were refugees. And uh, one of the reasons I got involved in the story, when I looked into it, it was obvious to me that there was a cover-up going on, that people in the town were covering it up. Now, what I'm about to reveal to you, please, and if you read my reporting on the, Huff, on the Breitbart about it, uh, you know I covered that story, and you also know, if you listen to me, I was taken off that story by Breitbart before I was leading up to something, and I was taken off the story by Breitbart about halfway into it because Twin Falls is the home of the world's largest yogurt factory by Chobani, and Hamdi Yulakaya, the billionaire globalist owner of that, uh, was not happy with the coverage I was doing because... It started, it got into the economics of what was going on up there. And I believe that the cover-up that happened out there happened because of unspoken, probably, I don't have any reason to think it was spoken, economic pressure, but I want to be very specific about what the cover-up is. Okay? So this is the, the, the background. So I'm in New York right now, because, and again, do me a favor, retweet this puppy. This TV show, The Opposition did an interview with me last night, and it became about 30 minutes into the interview, which we recorded, by the way. We have, we have our full copy of the, the, the interview. Uh, it became obvious that they were picking up on the New York Times reporting. The New York Times did a hit piece on me about the Twin Falls story. Uh, and it became obvious last night that this Comedy Central show, The Opposition, was using this as another hit piece on me. So, God is funny. And that's led me to reveal what I'm about to reveal to you today. Now, I want to set up the background. This girl's assaulted. And within a week or two, I forget, within a week, 10 days, something like that. Again, I'm not looking at my notes directly, so forgive me if I get some of the dates slightly wrong. But very quickly within the assault, the prosecutor, Grant Loves, who's the head prosecutor of that county, came forward and said there was no knife used in the assault. And he implied that that was a false story created by townspeople and he discredited it. Are you with me? I'm going to say that again. Grant Loeb's, who's the county prosecutor up there, made public statements about a knife being involved, let me go further, that he knew were false and misleading. I'm going to be very specific on this, and I've waited until now to talk about it. Grant Loeb's made statements that the press has picked up on that he knew were misleading. And that is the definition of prosecutorial misconduct. He made public statements about a case that he knew was sealed. So he knew the media couldn't get to it. And using that knowledge, he gave the press false information. Now, how do I know this? I know this because Grant Loeb's told me. I have talked before that I interviewed law enforcement people off the record. Grant Loeb's was one of them. And the reason I haven't talked about it until now is I knew there was prosecutorial misconduct. But as an investigator, 
I've still been working on the story. And I have no obligation as a reporter or as a person to protect a prosecutor, a public official who is lying, making misleading statements to the press, both on the record and off the record. I want to be very clear about this. I have no ethical obligation to Grant Loeb's whatsoever. He's a public official who told me, and we discussed it at length, that he knew the police had gone out to that apartment complex and the same boys who assaulted that five-year-old girl had a knife. I'm going to say that again. I had a conversation with Grant Loeb's on the phone when I was in Twin Falls last year. And it's been subsequently confirmed. And by the way, this is one of the things that I've been so irritated about this New York Times story. I told the New York Times reporter all of this. I told her that I talked to Grant Loeb's, and she talked to Grant Loeb's off the record and did not use his name in the story. So Grant Loeb's continued to give false and misleading information. The fact that the boys had a knife. Did Grant Loeb's have an obligation? Well, I don't care whether anyone believes me. Is someone saying no one believes me? I don't, I don't care. Everybody knows what happened because I talked to people about it at the time. And furthermore, the New York Times, Mr. No One Believes Me, has the audio of me talking to that reporter. This is reporting of misconduct as well. They have the audio where I talked extensively about this. But you don't have to believe me. Ask Grant Loeb's the following questions. Were the police called out weeks before and did they find a knife? Anybody who asked Grant Loeb's that directly will find the answer, which is he absolutely knows about it. Because the police were called. Next. Ask him if after one of the public meetings in Twin Falls, he and the police went out to look for the knife at the apartment complex? And the answer is yes. He knows that. So you, again, someone's saying no one believes me. You don't have to believe me. Ask Grant Loeb's. Look at the police records. Furthermore, and Grant knows this, I know the name of the woman who called the police. So this is public information that's available. But I'm, tell, I'm telling you, the prosecutorial misconduct is Grant Loeb's absolutely knew that. Now, because the boys had a knife a few weeks earlier, does that mean that they used the knife in the sexual assault of a girl? No, it does not mean that. Maybe they did, maybe they didn't. But it means that Grant Loeb's, as the prosecutor for the county, making repeated statements to the media that led the media to believe that the story about the knife was a fabrication made up by townspeople, is prosecutorial misconduct. It is prosecutorial misconduct for the lead prosecutor to give misleading information that hurts the victim's case. Are you with me? That is wrong. Now, the reason I haven't revealed it up to this point is I kept hoping I would be able to do more reporting on Twin Falls. And therefore, I kept wanting to be able to talk to, to Grant Loeb's, knowing that I was going to eventually bring this out. This is why I wanted to keep talking to him, but I have not been able to do that. I've not been able to do that. And now that Comedy Central is ready to run this hit piece against this five-year-old victim and are going to pretend, are going to protect the corrupt public official, which is what I believe Comedy Central is going to do. I believe this show, The Opposition, I believe it's part of a coordinated effort involving the New York Times, and the New York Times absolutely did it. They know... They didn't deal with the knife issue at all. But again, you don't have to take my word for it. It's all on the record. Furthermore, I said some stuff a month or two ago about the knife. It's on Periscope. It's up there. I said some stuff about the knife that makes it clear. So that's what's going on. I'm going to go, I'm going to bring out this story, I, I, like I said, I don't, I, I, I want to be able to lay it out in a way where I show you the public statements made by the prosecutor. But here's what it is again. 
knowing that the police had been out before the incident and that the assailants had a knife and knowing that the police then went out and looked for a knife. And I know where it was kept. It was kept in a tree near the apartment complex. And that was also confirmed to me by Loeb's. Loeb's personally told me. We talked about it at length. And his argument was, I don't have enough to prosecute on with the knife. And I agreed with him. But that does not give you permission, Mr. Loeb's, to mislead the press over and over in order to create a false impression that hurts the victim's case, which is what you did, sir. That is what you did, sir. And the fact that the New York Times assisted you in doing it, shame on them. The fact that MSNBC assisted them, although I believe unwittingly, shame on them. The fact that no reporters actually did the work that I did in running this detail down, shame on all of you. The fact that Comedy Central is then doing a hit piece to protect, a, I believe, a billionaire. That's all that's going on. Shame on you. That's what a cover-up is. And I've talked about it, and I've taken a lot of heat for it because I was trying to get the facts out in a big way. And circumstances have made it, so I'm not going to be able to do that. But now that this new Comedy Central piece is coming and that they're going to help perpetuate this lie, I have to... It's, it's time to go all in on this and talk about what I know personally from Grant Love. So again, don't take my word for it. Any reporter, ask Grant Loeb's on the record, if he, it's real simple. Did you know that the police came out to look for a knife weeks before? And if you knew that, why did you tell the press that it was, there were, give the press the misleading information that there was no law, knife and that you equated it with things? What Grant Loeb said was he said there were rumors that the, the assailants were Syrian, that they were grown men, and that there was a knife. You compared the knife story, which came from the victim. The victim is the one who said there was a knife. The victim, Grant, the victim is the one who said there was a knife. You know that. You know that. We discussed it. And yet, you equated the knife story with two things that are clearly false. You gave a false equivalence. So, let's end with this. Grant Loeb's needs to be removed from office. This story, let's see if any of the media picks up on it. Let's see if any of the media picks up on it. Let's see. It's not about me. It's about the story. And anybody, I've given you enough, anybody can run the facts down independently, as I did, and find that what I'm saying is the truth. They can. Breitbart can do it. Right? Anybody can do it. Anybody can do it. Will anybody do it? You tell me. This has been a, it's been a it's been a heinous situation. I feel badly for the parents who were suffering knowing that the prosecutor was out there. Imagine how you feel if your daughter was sexually assaulted and you saw the prosecutor saying things that contradicted the witness's testimony, the victim's testimony. Think about that from the parent's perspective. He was publicly saying things that contradicted what the victim thought. Think about that. The victim said, the victim said there was a knife and she said it to a medical professional. And by the way, the last I heard, they would not release the medical records to the parents. I want you to think about that. They wouldn't release the medical records to the parents. Now, do I know if the boys had a knife? No, I don't. I mean, yes, I do, but no, I don't. I know that they had a knife, so does Grant Loeb's. I don't know if they used it on the girl, but I know she said they did, and I know that they'd had a knife. So that's it. So all Grant Loeb's had to do was not say anything about it. But he didn't. He went much further than that. This is a cover-up. That is a cover-up. When the top prosecutor 
in the county. It's not a conspiracy theory. And for everybody, what they tried to do last night on this Comedy Central show is make me out to be an Islamophobe, make me out to be a uh, racist. Hey, guess what, media? Grant Loeb's isn't Muslim. Guess what? You're defending the old white guy. Take that virtue signal. Take that. You're defending the old white guy. The New York Times is defending the old white guy. You people disgust me. All of you in the media who covered this up, the reporter from the New York Times who knew everything that I just told you, you're disgusting. And this is why I was so angry about it. Now, Comedy Central, you've got a choice to do the right thing and expose Grant Loeb's or you have a choice. Pay attention. Who do you serve? The billionaires, the mayor, the prosecutor, or the victim? Who do you serve? How dare you think you have any moral superiority whatsoever? You have none. You have none. And that's why I'm upset about it. Now, I hope everybody in Twin Falls spreads this video in far, as far and wide as they can. And I hope you watch, you see if any of the media pick up on this in Twin Falls. Will any of the media pick up on this? We'll see. They didn't pick up on any of the stories before. Anybody could have run down. Why don't you run down and see if you can find the proof? But again, Loeb's told me. He confirmed it with me. And I didn't report it at the time because I was trying to build a case. And by the way, shame on Breitbart for shutting this story down, too, because they knew about it. They knew where I was heading with this. Major scandal when the county prosecutor misleads the press on a story and hurts the victim's case. And that, by the way, there's more. There's more on this story. There's more cases of prosecutorial misconduct. But this one is enough, and it's completely provable. I got to go do, I'm going to be on David Knight's show in a few minutes. Love you guys. Do me a favor. Retweet this. If you know anyone in Twin Falls, let them know. If you know anyone in Twin Falls, let them know. And again, you people at Comedy Central, you got a choice here. You want to do the, I offered, I told them this last night. I took them off record, and I told them it was Grant Loeb's that, that told me. And I tried to take them off record while they were talking about it. So Comedy Central knows the truth. Now, Comedy Central, are you going to tell the truth or not? What are you going to do? What are you going to do? Love you. See you on InfoWars.